The Denver Center for the Performing Arts is so happy to be welcoming audiences back to the theater again, and it's already preparing for the 2023-2024 Broadway season. And here to unveil the shows that will take the stage in Denver next year is John Eckerberg. Thanks so much for joining us. Thanks, Michelle. I'm so happy to be here. And now, of course, you are the DCPA's Executive uh, Director of the Broadway and Cabaret Division, so that is exciting. Okay, so tell us, what are the shows coming to Denver? We have a big lineup coming in March of 23, all the way through the summer of 24. Mm -hmm. uh, today we'll be announcing eight subscription titles and some other special add-ons. And uh, we have a, a whole bunch of shows to talk about today. Okay, so which one of the shows are you most excited to see? That's a question I get all the time. Mm -hmm. And of course, I really enjoy all of them for different reasons. One that I think uh, folks are really going to enjoy is Beetlejuice, the musical, okay. which is on Broadway right now. Yes. Uh, it's about the film of the same name. It is so funny and just over the top hilarious. Uh, everyone loves a great comedy. And what are some of the other shows people can expect? Tina, the Tina Turner musical about the life great. of Tina Turner, What's Love Got to Do With It, Proud Mary, all these great songs and a great story of her life of perseverance. Uh, we have the show Six, which is a big hit in New York right now. It's about the six wives of Henry VIII, and it's just a high-energy pop music musical, uh, just really, really fun. Um, MJ, which uh, talks about the artistry of Michael Jackson based on his 1992 Dangerous tour mm -hmm. is incredibly phenomenal. Those are some that I'm most interested in. You know, we all missed out on the theater for so long, of course, during the pandemic. Um, what does it mean to you to just get people back in the theater and these live audiences enjoying the theater once again? We've been so pleased to see the energy of folks coming back down to the arts complex and down to downtown. I don't know that we knew what to expect, but when we were ready to reopen, the audience was ready to come, and so we've been so pleased to see the Buell Theater full again, uh, people having a great time. It's really been uh, so energizing to get theater back up downtown. I know first-timers, first-time shows to Denver are always exciting, but any returning shows to Denver that are just fan favorites? Oh, sure. We have uh, plenty of those. Uh, we'll have Les Miserables coming. Love that. Um, Aladdin, which is a wonderful family great. show, of course, from Disney. The Book of Mormon will be coming back, uh, as well as Wicked, which is a big fave. Oh, that's a big fave of my daughter's, so oh, I need to get in on that. I need to buy some tickets. When can people start buying tickets? When do they go on sale? Well, season? subscriptions go on sale today, which that's the greatest way to experience theater. You buy a package of the subscription shows and get uh, advance notice to buy single tickets and to the extra shows. So those single tickets will be put on sale later, but if you really want to get in, uh, buy a subscription today. And you always suggest that, right? Especially for people sure. who go to multiple shows because it it ends up paying off. Yeah, and you get, you get it on your calendar, right? I think we all do the thing where we say, well, I really want to see that, but maybe you don't get around to buying the ticket until it's too late. This way you have it on your calendar, you have the tickets guaranteed, great seats. So uh, that's always a great way to experience theater in Denver. Well, John, that is so exciting. Thank you so much. Can't wait to get back to the theater. And thanks Thank for you, coming Michelle. and sharing all of these shows with us. And we, we will be sure to put that information on these new shows on CBSColorado.com.